Democrat Joe Biden will be sworn in as the 46th president of the United States on Wednesday, assuming the helm of a country beset by deep political divides and battered by a raging coronavirus pandemic. The 78-year-old will become the oldest US president in history. At a scaled-back ceremony in Washington that has been largely stripped of its usual grandeur, due both to the pandemic as well as the January 6th U.S. Capitol assault. U.S. President Donald Trump left the White House for the last time on Wednesday, skipping the inauguration of successor Joe Biden as the 46th U.S. President in a break with tradition. With this, he draws a curtain on the most chaotic administration of modern times. Trump will be at his Mar-a-Lago resort in Florida when Biden, the 78-year-old former vice president, is sworn in at noon on the U.S. Capitol's Western Front. The tenth round of talks between farmer unions and the central government over the three farm laws has concluded at Vigyan Bhavan in New Delhi. The next round of the meeting is to take place on January 22nd. There has been no breakthrough so far. A 42-year-old health worker in Telangana died on Wednesday, a day after he was inoculated with the anti-coronavirus vaccine. However, the state government said it was not linked to the vaccine shot, even as the post-mortem of the deceased is yet to be conducted. Leaking of official secret of military operations is treason and those involved must be punished, Congress leader A.K. Antony said on Wednesday, referring to the purported WhatsApp chats of Republic TV editor-in-chief Arnav Goswami doing the rounds on social media. Addressing a press conference, he also said that the government should immediately order an inquiry into information leaked about the 2019 airstrikes. Alibaba CEO Jack Ma appeared during a rural teacher-themed social welfare event via video link on Wednesday, according to the media reports, his first public appearance since Alibaba came under tougher regulatory scrutiny amid the nation's efforts to rein in internet-based monopolies. He was thought to be missing for the last few months amid China's crackdown and his clash with President Xi Jinping. 